How we doing, YouTube? It's Saturday, June the... Uh, I don't know what the date is today. Six, maybe? Yeah, June the 20... Yeah, June 26th. That's the date. I uh, have a service call that came in. I'm here. The unit is actually right there. You can see that condenser. It's a Lux Air. But I'm sitting in the truck waiting on the rain to clear. So as soon as the rain clears, uh, we'll try to knock this service call out and see if we can film for y'all. Okay, so the rain finally let up enough and we have a Luxair micro channel system here with a low charge. Um, looks like somebody's hit it with something. They got it stacked up on cinder blocks. Pretty damn convenient, right at his back steps. I'm not, and I mean, you can see the, uh, you know, the valves and everything are right by his back steps. Pretty nice for service, but I don't know if I like that too much. I don't really care for the way they stacked it up. They didn't do a really good job on it. They just put three here, and it looks like three here. Yeah, maybe three back there. I mean, it, it does feel pretty solid. So uh, we have low charge, and I, I think I see an oil stain here where it was hit. You know, these micro channels are pretty prone to leak. This is a mobile home, and uh, the indoor coil looks great. I mean, not to say that it can't be leaking, but I can normally tell, but to the naked eye, it looks good. But I mean, with the rain today, I'm just gonna gas him up because he said it does. it has been freezing. I'm gonna go ahead and gas him up for today. And I, I may pass the H10 across uh, one of these areas that I suspect. Okay, I'm trying to get out of here, guys, but because the rain is starting to come back. But with these microchannel coils, for those of you that don't know, you want to be very careful when charging them. You want to add just a little bit of refrigerant and then give it time to settle back down. For instance, I've only put six ounces in. And you know, we're already above 100. You saw where we were a minute ago. We're, we're still at freezing, but I've only put six ounces in. For instance, this is a three ton machine. It only holds four pounds of refrigerant. So, you know, that's it's not a lot. And it's all because of this micro channel here. So you have to be very, very careful when you're charging these and you have to charge them, you have to charge them slow. All right, guys, so we're to, uh... We're headed back to the house. That's the only service call I've had come in so far. You can see the weather still looks pretty nasty. Um, it's, it's still pretty dark. We have more rain coming. It's cleared up for right now. But I didn't want to run the leak detector uh, in the rain because, I mean, it, it started lightly raining while I was charging the system. Explained to the guy that I could come Monday afternoon. I have a mobile home change out to do Monday afternoon. And I told him I could, I, I mean, I'm sorry, I have a mobile home change out to do Monday morning. And I told him I could come after that. And he said that was fine. So we'll come back Monday, run the H10, and uh, we'll get you guys some film on that as well. All right, we're back Monday. We found our leak. The H10 was going crazy on that filter dryer. I got some big blue on it right now. There they are. You can see the bubbles growing. That's our leak. <laughs> 